technological feat that was believed beyond the realm of possibility? The fulfillment of an age-old dream? Were we celebrating simply because it had been a long time since we'd had anything to celebrate? Or was this something that touched an irrational, unthinking instinct in us all? of the space exploration age in America was an amazing time for our country. Did you know that you would, but did you know that the Valdosta State University was very involved in that time? I'm talking about students was gathering information as well as faculty actually participating in the research and the studies that went on during that time. And here are some of them. Students were impacted during the height of the space program in the United States, which took place from 1955 to the late 1970s, but they documented all of these events in their newspaper. Back when Valdosta State University was Valdosta State College in 1962, the Atlanta editor Eugene Patterson came to inform the students about the first three men space flight. He basically wanted to talk about how he was encouraging students to further their education and how the first Three man space flight was an example of that. He said that this, he, he explained the importance of education and the development of Georgia and how breaking the natural laws of man can produce natural good effects. Lucas Stewart, he was the director of Valdosta State College from 1966 to 1985. He was the director of college relations for our college. In his collection called the Fluker Stewart Papers, he collected magazines related to the Project Mercury program conducted by the National Aeronautics and Space Administration, also known to us today as NASA. John Glenn, a primary astronaut in this program, is largely featured in these magazines. Here are some of the photos that are taken from the magazine. Lastly, the former Associate Professor of Biology at Valdosta State University, Linda Chamberlain. She has a collection of papers where she had direct involvement in the Space Life Sciences training program, which was conducted by NASA. And here's documentation of her involvement in that program. In this program, she taught undergraduate science students in the space life sciences pro training program about space biology and expose them to possible career opportunities they can have within NASA. 